It was a sunny summer day, and Caillou and Rosie were spending it with Grandma in her vegetable garden. Grandma? Those are Grandma's world-famous green beans. <laughs> That's silly. Beans can't be famous. Really? I always thought mine were. Caillou, look! Wow, Rosie. You found baby tomatoes. Rosie, no! You can't pick the tomatoes. They're still too small. Caillou was worried because he thought the tomatoes weren't ready to be picked yet. It's all right, Rosie. You can pick them. Caillou, these are cherry tomatoes. They're supposed to be small. Oh. <laughs> Oops. What's this, Grandma? That's my lettuce. Or at least it should be my lettuce. It looks like something's been nibbling at the leaves. Oh, well. Come on back to the house, you two. I've got a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. You're both very welcome. Maybe I can get some nice photos of the two of you blowing bubbles. <gasps> like this, Rosie. You have to blow. <gasps> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Say cheese. Caillou enjoyed having his picture taken. <laughs> He especially loved seeing the picture after. Can I see it, Grandma? Of course. What's that, Grandma? <gasps> Grandma, it's a bunny rabbit! So that's the rascal who's been eating my lettuce. Can I please take a picture of the rabbit? Please? I want to show it to Mommy when she comes to pick us up. Well, you can try. Rabbits tend to be camera shy. But with a little perseverance, you might get a picture. What's perseverance? Perseverance. It means to not quit doing something, even if it's hard. Caillou was sure he had lots of perseverance. Well then, here you go, Caillou. I promise to be careful with it, Grandma. Rosie, see Rabbit too? Shh! Rosie, you'll scare it away. Come play! Rosie! Shh! Bunnies are afraid of loud noises, Rosie. So if you and Caillou wanted to come out from under the shed, you'll have to be very quiet. Quiet? Quiet? Rosie! What are you doing? Rosie, quiet bunny! <sighs> Caillou was getting frustrated with his little bunny sister. He knew that the rabbit wouldn't come out if she kept hopping around. Rosie, you have to be quiet and stand still. <laughs> Grandma, how can I take a picture with Rosie here? <laughs> Rosie, sweetie, let's you and I go and play with the bubbles. Bubbles! Huh? Shoo! Shoo! wanted to take the bunny's picture, but he was feeling frustrated. Have you given up already? Yes. Hmm. Maybe you could try coaxing the rabbit out from under the shed with a nibble. A nibble? Yeah, Grandma. Why don't we use your lettuce? You're absolutely right. Let's go and see if we can pull up some lettuce for the rabbit. Rabbit. 
rabbit snack. Rosie, how can you? No, Rosie, I can do it. Done, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou waited and waited, hoping the rabbit would come out and eat the pieces of lettuce. going to come out. Very pleased with his picture. It was worth waiting for. I can't wait to show it to Mommy. Well, Caillou, you're just going to have to wait for that as well. <laughs> Rosie were having lots of fun playing with their balloon. I'll get it, Rosie. Mommy, what are Daddy and that workman doing to our tree? Daddy and Mr. McFarlane are cutting it down, Caillou. Cutting it down? But I like that tree. Tweet? I like that tree, too. But remember when we had that big storm? I'm afraid our tree was damaged when it was struck by lightning. Caillou did remember. The thunder was very loud, and the lightning made the sky very bright. Now the tree needs to be cut down so it won't fall and damage the house. But what are they going to do with the tree? Well, we'll use some of it for firewood. But where are all the birds and squirrels going to live? Caillou was upset. He didn't want to see the old tree come down. Rosie, on the other hand, thought this was all very interesting. <laughs> tree fall down! Phew! That was good exercise. Why the long face, Caillou? Caillou was feeling a little sad about the old tree. Oh, I see. I know what'll cheer you up. I'm going somewhere special today. And you can come with me while Rosie has her nap. Caillou liked the idea of going somewhere special with Daddy. Can Rexy come too? Sure. I don't see why not. Rawr! <laughs> We're almost there, Caillou. The tree farm is just around the corner. Tree farm? I didn't know we were going to a tree farm. <laughs> I didn't even know there were farms for trees. Yes, it's kind of like the nursery where Mommy buys her plants, only they grow many big trees there. Are we getting a new tree, Daddy? We'll see. Here we are. Caillou was surprised to see so many trees. There were trees in every size, shape, and color. <laughs> Now it really feels like we're in a jungle, Rexy. Can I help pick out a tree, Daddy? Of course. Come with me. What kind of tree are we going to get, Daddy? Hmm, well, perhaps one that provides some shade in the summer, so we'll have somewhere cool to sit. Can we get one that the birds and squirrels will like? Sure. Trees make great homes for wildlife, and they help clean the air that we breathe. 
What do you think about this one? It has an interesting shape. Caillou wasn't sure this was the right tree for their yard. What do you think, Rexy? Rexy and I think it's too small. Hmm, okay, something bigger. How about this one? It's an oak, another kind of deciduous tree. Deciduous? A deciduous tree has broad leaves like this one. They'll fall off in the fall and grow back in the spring. It'll lose a lot of leaves, Daddy, because it's a big, big tree. Hmm, that's true. Maybe we should find something a little smaller. This one's a paper birch. See how the bark around the tree looks a little like paper? Do you like it? It's too papery. Daddy showed Caillou many, many trees, but none of them seemed right to Caillou. How about one of these, Caillou? This is the one, Daddy! This is the one! A maple tree, just like our old one. It's perfect. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to take this tree, please. That's great. I'll be right over. I like your drawing, Rosie. Oh, look, Rosie. Daddy and Caillou are back. And they brought something special home with them. Uh. Look, Rosie, our new tree. Where are we going to plant it, Daddy? We'll find a nice spot for it in the backyard. We've already got the shovels ready and the wagon. What do you need my wagon for? We're going to give the tree a ride to the backyard so we don't have to carry it. It's very heavy. Caillou liked the idea of giving the tree another ride. This will be the second wagon ride for our tree. First in our car, and now in my wagon. I think this is a good spot. The tree will have plenty of room to grow here. Can I help you dig? Dig! Rosie, too! <laughs> okay, but I have to warn you, digging is hard work. We like hard work, don't we, Rosie? Rosie, dig! <laughs> Arr, mateys, let's dig then, and maybe we'll find buried treasure in these parts. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Digging is hard work. It sure is. But we're ready. Now we need to fill the hole with soil. Caillou, Rosie, you can help bring the soil over here. Caillou liked the sound of that. He and Rosie love playing in dirt. Look, Rosie, I'm a truck. There. So, what do you think, Caillou? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. With a little water and sunshine, this tree should grow up big and strong. Like Rosie and me. That's right, Caillou. You'll all grow up together. Caillou suddenly noticed he wasn't the only one who liked their new tree. Look, birdies. They like our new tree, too. The birds couldn't agree more. Caillou's new tree was a wonderful addition to the yard. <laughs> Caillou didn't feel like playing hopscotch with Mommy and Rosie. He was waiting for his friend Sarah to get home. <sighs> Yay! Sarah's back! Now she can play! Caillou! Come and meet my new dog! Sarah has a dog! Can we go see? Of course. Doggy! <laughs> yes. Meet the newest <laughs> member of our family. His name is Murphy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Doggy nice. Yes, the doggy is very nice. Congratulations. Thanks. It'll be nice to have another family pet. Oh, and it looks like Murphy is eager to check out his new home. I'd better take him inside. Bye, Murphy. Nice meeting you. Do 
do you want to come over and play with me? No, thanks. I want to show Murphy my room. Caillou was a little surprised that Sarah didn't want to play with him. He'd been waiting for her all morning. But maybe we can play together later, okay? Okay. So, who'd like to go to the park today? Me! Can we invite Sarah? Sure. I don't see why not. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to come to the park with us? We can pretend the climber's a sailboat, just like last time. Um, no thanks. Again he was surprised. He couldn't believe Sarah didn't want to go to the park with him. Why not? I'm going to give Murphy a bath. You can stay and help me, if it's okay with your dad. Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to stay and give Murphy a bath. He'd been looking forward to his trip to the park. Well, um, okay. I guess it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Stay still, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy! <laughs> Isn't this great, Caillou? It's fun giving a dog a bath. Yeah, fun. <laughs> What's that smell? I don't know. Wet dog, I guess. So, how was it bathing Murphy? Wet and smelly. <gasps> <laughs> yes, it looks like you could use a bath now, too. Caillou, it's for you. Hi, Caillou. Do you want to come for a walk with me and my mom? Sure. Caillou loved going for walks with Sarah and her mom. <laughs> oh, and Murphy's coming, of course. <laughs> Do you want to play jump over the cracks with me, Sarah? No, thanks. How about I spy? Uh, uh, maybe later. Heal, Murphy, heal! <sighs> Murphy. I guess we have a lot more dog training to do. Like this, Caillou. Ugh. What's that one called? That yoga position is called downward facing dog. Dog? No wonder I don't like it. Oh, that'll be Sarah. Sarah's coming over? Yes, didn't I tell you? We've agreed to watch Murphy this evening while Sarah and her family are out. Caillou wasn't very happy with Murphy. He wished he would go away so he and Sarah could play like they used to. Caillou, is everything okay? Not when Murphy is around. <sighs> Sarah never wants to play with me anymore. All she wants to do is play with Murphy. Oh, I see. Why do you think Sarah wants to spend so much time with her dog? I don't know. Maybe because she likes him better than me. Sarah still <laughs> likes you very much. But Murphy is new to their family, and that's very exciting for her. Do you remember when Rosie was born? Even though Rosie was just a baby, all you wanted to do was play with your little sister. Yeah. But Murphy's a lot more drooly and hairy than Rosie. <laughs> That's true. But I'm sure Murphy can be just as much fun. <laughs> That's it, Murphy. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. 
Hi, you. You and Murphy sure look like you're having fun. Murphy's great. We played ball and went for a walk. And I'm even teaching him how to heal. Really? That's great. I can see why you like spending all your time with him. Well, I don't want to spend all my time with Murphy. I want to play with you, too. Do you want to come over tomorrow? Sure, we could play catch, and Murphy could play with us, too. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it, Murphy? And that's how Caillou learned he could be friends with Sarah and Murphy. <laughs> follow Caillou! That's it! Follow me! Follow the leader! Oh. Caillou loved to play follow the leader. <laughs> because it meant everyone could play together. <laughs> now hop backwards! Well, almost everyone. And he was new to Caillou's preschool. And he wasn't joining in the fun. Sorry, Andy. Do you want to play follow the leader? No. Andy lives on my street. I ask him to play at the park, but he never wants to play. Really? Why? I don't know. Caillou didn't believe that Andy didn't want to play. Everybody liked to play with friends. Hi, Andy. Do you want to do a puzzle with me? No. What are you drawing? Nothing. I'm just trying to be friends. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be friends either. Caillou was upset. His feelings were hurt by what Andy said. And he was still upset about it later that night. Dinner's almost ready, Caillou. My goodness, why the long face? Long face? That means, why do you look so sad? Andy at preschool doesn't like me. Really? Did he tell you that? He said he didn't want to play with me and didn't want to be my friend. So I said I didn't want to be his friend either. But I thought you liked being friends with everybody. Yeah, I do. So you didn't mean it when you said you didn't want to be friends. And maybe Andy didn't really mean what he said either. You need to think about why Andy said what he did. Maybe he just didn't want to play what you were playing. I'm going to keep trying to be friends with Andy. That's my Caillou. determined to be friends with Andy. Hi, Andy. Want to play? No. You don't like soccer? What games do you like? I like tag and follow the leader and hide and seek. <sighs> but being Andy's friend was certainly harder than he thought it would be. I'll be there soon. I want to ask Daddy something. Daddy, how can I find out what someone else is thinking? You could just ask them. But what if they don't talk much? Well, that makes it harder for sure. Hmm. You could try to see things from their point of view. How do you do that? Try to see the world the way that they do. Like you're seeing out of their eyes. Like this? I'm seeing the same way Gilbert does. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Caillou decided to try seeing things from Andy's point of view. Follow me! 
<laughs> okay! <laughs> well, you had to admit the other children were pretty loud. Maybe Andy didn't like loud noises. You look like you're thinking hard about something, Caillou. Andy really likes drawing. Yes, he certainly does. He doesn't like running around making noise like the rest of us do. No. Different children like to play in different ways. Caillou suddenly knew how he could be Andy's friend. He would play with Andy the way Andy liked to play. Tag, you're it, Caillou. Thanks, but I don't want to play tag today. I'm it. Here I come. Caillou waited for Andy to talk first. What's that? I'm drawing a castle. You should draw flags. Castles always have flags on top. Oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> hey, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm playing follow the leader. Huh? Andy's the leader. <laughs> Caillou was pretty sure that he and Andy were friends now, even if they didn't exactly say so in words. Here I come! <laughs> you can't get me! <laughs> gotcha! Now you're it! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy, but Caillou had made a new friend. And it was wonderful. Caillou and Rosie were excited. Mommy and Daddy were taking them to the beach for the day. Perfect. I think we have everything we need. Wait. Let's get some sunblock on before we go. <laughs> that tickles. Look, Mommy, the sun is hiding. I'm sure those clouds will drift away by the time we get to the beach. Now hop in. But soon it started raining. Caillou was worried he wouldn't get to play on the beach. Is the sun going to come out, Daddy? It's just a summer rain shower, Caillou. It'll stop by the time we get to the beach. <sighs> I hope. When the family arrived at the beach, it was still raining, just a little bit. Hmm, I don't know, kids. The beach looks awfully wet. Maybe we should head home and do something inside instead. No! We want to stay at the beach and have fun. Right, Rosie? Rosie, stay! Mommy, Daddy, look! The sun, see? It's peeking out. Please, can we play on the beach? We're here anyway. Okay, kids. We'll give it Yay! a try. This looks like a good spot. At least it's not crowded. Caillou was amazed at how different the beach looked without lots of people. Good thing we've got this sun umbrella to keep us dry. Yeah! Caillou wanted to laugh because Daddy looked so funny. 
But he was too worried. Daddy might want to go home. <laughs> You're right, Rosie. Daddy made more rain. <laughs> Here you go, kids. Thanks. Thank you. Caillou felt happy. Everyone else seemed happy, too. He was sure they would have a wonderful day at the beach. Look, Daddy! Seagulls! Where? Oopsie! Aw, oh, now look at that. There's sand in my sandwich. <laughs> Caillou wanted to make Daddy feel better. You can share my sandwich, Daddy. That's very nice of you, Caillou. It sure is. But luckily, I brought plenty of sandwiches. Hey, looks like it finally stopped raining. Caillou was happy it had stopped raining. He wanted to go and play. Come on, Rosie. Let's see if the waves can catch us. Here it comes. Run! Oh, I... <laughs> Show pretty! Yeah! Let's show Mommy and Daddy! Even our towels are all wet. This isn't the fun time we were hoping for, is it? Well... Oh! My hat! Caillou was having fun on the beach. But it didn't look like Mommy and Daddy were having any fun at all. Maybe we should make it an early day and head home soon. Caillou didn't want to go home yet. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy how much fun a day at the beach could be, even a rainy day. Look what we found! Say, that's a pretty nice clamshell. Let's go find more! Well, okay, just for a little while. I don't know why we were worried about the rain. We came to the beach to get wet anyway. Kids, my feet are gone. Where did they go? I know I had my feet at the picnic table. Do you think I left them in my sandals? <laughs> no, they're under the sand. <laughs> oh, phew, we found them. I'm so glad. <laughs> Look, Mommy, <laughs> we found Daddy's feet. Oh, pee you. Now what shall we do? They knew exactly what they wanted to do. All done. Do you like it, Daddy? I do. It's a terrific sand castle. Let's get a picture. Say cheese. I think the rain is coming back. This time, it really is time to go. So, did everyone have fun? Yeah! And what about Daddy? I sure did. You were right, Caillou. It was fun at the beach, even with all the rain. Yeah, I wish we could bring the beach home with us. Ten! Oh, dear. It looks like Rosie is bringing the beach home with us. That day, Caillou taught Mommy and Daddy a lesson about making the most of a rainy day. <laughs> Caillou loved spending the day with his grandma. He especially loved looking for treasures in her attic. Oh! <laughs> Magician. 
potion! Abracadabra! Let me fix this up for you. Caillou was excited about being a magician. He wanted to do really amazing things. You look very dashing. How about practicing your magic outside while I do my yard work? Okay. This is certainly making a mess on the lawn. Abracadabra! They disappeared! Hooray! They certainly have. Abracadabra! Flowers grow! I think this kind of magic doesn't happen right away. Plant magic takes a long time. Do you think you could make a lunch disappear? Yes. Grandma, would you like a banana? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Abracadabra! <gasps> it disappeared! What a good trick. I know another one. I'm going to turn this soup into mush. Abracadabra! Bravo! Caillou knew lots of little magic tricks, but he wanted to come up with something really amazing to show everyone. I'll throw this in the garbage for you, Grandma. Uh-uh. That's not garbage. But it's all gushy and yucky. I need it for my garden. Your garden? Come on, I'll show you. Is that a garbage can? No, it's a composter. I put in food scraps like fruit and vegetables and breadcrumbs and eggshells. But no meat and no dairy. That means no cheese or milk. I throw in grass clippings, too, and a little water. It must be really yucky in there. Ah, but that's the surprising thing. Inside this composter, all the messy, gooey stuff turns into something totally different. Like a magic trick? <laughs> yes, it is rather like a magic trick. Would you like to see what it turns into? Yes, please. It's dirt. All those things turn into dirt? It's not dirt. It's called compost, and it takes weeks and weeks to happen. A composter makes compost. That's right. Compost is nice, rich soil that helps my plants to grow. It's like plant food. Wow! And by putting food scraps into my composter, I'm sending less garbage to the garbage dump. That is the best magic trick ever! <laughs> it sure is. Caillou couldn't wait to try this magic trick out himself. Caillou, what are you up to? I'm gonna show you the best magic trick ever. Potato skins, bread crusts, corn, but no cheese. That's dairy. <laughs> Nessie! What kind of magic trick is this, Caillou? I'm gonna change all of this yucky stuff into plant food. Oh, we need to get a composter to do this trick. Hmm, I'm not sure why, but okay, Caillou. very hard for weeks and weeks, but everything looked just the same. He was starting to think his magic trick wouldn't work at all. 
You're doing wonderfully, Caillou. Just remember, plant magic takes a long time. Better give it one more month. Okay. Caillou waited for a whole month. It seemed like days and days, 30 days to be exact. Yeah! But the wait was finally over. Come on, everybody! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Caillou was very excited to show everyone his big magic trick. But he was a little worried, too. What if it didn't work? It's time for the best magic trick ever! Turning food and grass and leaves and water into compost. That's plant food. Abracadabra compost! Caillou hoped he wouldn't find just gooey food in there. Ta-da! How wonderful! Hooray for Caillou the Amazing! I didn't really do anything. Sure you did, Caillou. You worked especially hard to make this trick work. You really are Caillou the Amazing. For my next trick, I'm going to use my new compost to grow flowers. Caillou felt proud. It had taken a long time to perfect his plant magic. But it was worth it. You can be my apple taster, Rosie. Mm. Mommy was beginning to make some delicious apple crisp when oh. Caillou appeared. Oopie. Oh. <laughs> Don't be upset, Caillou. Trying to carry that many things is difficult for anybody. I'm not upset about that. I'm upset about Andre's shoes. Why are you upset about Andre's shoes? Because they're worn out, so Andre had to get new ones. And now I don't have anyone to play with. Well, why don't you play with Rosie? Because she's too little to play baseball and hockey. Watch. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Glove? Okay, Rosie. Catch. Caillou wasn't surprised that Rosie didn't know how to catch a ball. See? All right, perhaps Rosie is too little for baseball and hockey. But there are other games she can play. Play dolly? Caillou play dolly? But that's all she ever wants to play. I don't want to play dollies today. Well, there must be something else you two can play together. Why don't you give it some thought? Dollies! See what I mean? Maybe you can keep thinking. At least until the apple crisp is ready. Okay, I'll go put my stuff away. Play dolly? I said no, Rosie. Caillou play dolly? No more dollies. Caillou was beginning to feel frustrated. He was tired of always playing what Rosie wanted to play. Play dolly? Rosie wondered where Caillou had gone. <laughs> Caillou! No sign of Caillou anywhere. <coughs> Just his squeezy frog.
Skipper, where can you? <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Hi, sweetie. I don't know where Caillou is. Sorry. Hmm. <sighs> smells like someone's making apple crisp. I'd better make some room for it. <sighs> apple crisp is almost ready. Caillou thought about hiding in the backyard. Then he had a better idea. I think he went out back, dear. Caillou! Caillou was enjoying hiding from Rosie. Shh. Caillou? And Rosie was enjoying looking for Caillou. Caillou! After a long time, Caillou noticed Rosie wasn't looking for him anymore. Where's Rosie, Gilbert? Do you think she stopped looking for me? <coughs> Rosie! <laughs> Now she'll never find me. Boo! Huh? <laughs> Rosie, find Caillou! <laughs> <laughs> you did, Rosie! <laughs> you sure did! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what are you two doing rolling around on those coats? We were hiding in the closet, Mommy. Rosie's too little to play baseball and hockey, but she's great at hide and seek. Rosie, find Caillou! Very good, Rosie. I'm glad you two found something you could play together. Now it's your turn to hide. <laughs> Aren't you two going to have some apple crisp? It's ready. Maybe later. Thank you, Mommy. Ready or not, here I come. When they least expected it, Caillou and Rosie had found a game they could play together. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Well done, Caillou. Thanks, Daddy. Now it's my turn to play the song. You sure you don't want me to show you the notes one more time? I watched you play them all week. I'm ready to play. Yes, you are. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you... <laughs> <laughs> you might want to just practice playing the notes for now. No singing or clapping? Not yet. But once you remember how to play the notes, doing everything all together will be easy. Caillou was determined to practice the song until he could play it, and sing it, and clap it for Mommy and Daddy. Rosie, please stop banging that drum. Okay. Trying to play. 
being a little too loud? Rosie, honey, Caillou is trying to practice his song. It'll be a lot easier for him if you don't make any loud noises. Okay. song starts. The rest of the words are different. <laughs> I promise I'll teach them to you later, if you promise not to sing while I'm practicing. Will she no sing? That's right. No singing. away now. Delighted. Rosie was being very quiet. Just like she had promised to be. Caillou tried to ignore Rosie's dancing, but it was very hard. He was beginning to feel frustrated. I missed the big concert? It's just about to start. Where's Rosie? She's going to miss my song. I'm afraid she's still in her room. Caillou suddenly wondered if he had hurt Rosie's feelings. I'll go get her. that Rosie was trying to bother him while he was practicing. Now he realized she just wanted to join his music fun. I'm sorry for telling you to leave me alone, Rosie. I think I know how to make it up to you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Marvelous. Bravo! Bravo! Great show, you two. Well done. <laughs> Letting Rosie join your concert was a wonderful idea, Caillou. Rosie, play song! Yes, you did. Caillou was proud of his sister, and he was proud of himself. 
for including Rosie in his concert. Caillou and his family were enjoying a big spaghetti dinner. This is great! Spaghetti is my favorite! Thank you, Caillou. Please, just try not to slurp it when you eat. Caillou loves spaghetti, but it was very hard to eat it without making a slurping noise. Oops, excuse me. It's okay, Caillou. I know you were trying your best. Just like Rosie. She's trying her best not to get her napkin covered with spaghetti sauce. Napkin clean! That's good, Rosie, but you're supposed to use your napkin, especially when sauce is all over your face. Oops. <laughs> Everybody laughed along with Rosie, but while Caillou was laughing, he made a noise. Come on, Rosie, let's get you cleaned up. And you can help me with the dishes, Caillou. Okay, I'll help. <laughs> Caillou was extra careful not to drop anything. But it was hard because of the noises he made. <laughs> Whoa! Sounds like someone's got the hiccups. The hiccups? How do I... <gasps> How do I stop them? Just wait. They usually go away on their own. Oh, okay. I can wait. <laughs> hey, I waited, but they didn't go away. You have to wait longer than that, Pumpkin. Why not play in the living room while you wait? Okay, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou decided to build a tower while he waited, but... <laughs> Aw, are these hiccups ever going to go away? <laughs> How's it going out here? These hiccups are messing up everything. <laughs> I need them to go away. Just try not to think about them, Caillou. If you wait, the hiccups will go away on their own. But I've been waiting. Hmm. Well, I have heard that sometimes hiccups can be cured by giving someone a little scare. A scare? <laughs> I don't like scares. Just a little scare, Caillou. It makes the person gasp, and then the hiccups go away. Do you want to give it a try? If it'll make my hiccups go away, then okay. <laughs> okay, get ready. And... Boom! <laughs> hey, it worked! <gasps> oh, it didn't work. Maybe it wasn't scary enough. Well, we could take care of that, right, Rosie? Ooh. <laughs> Boo! 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 Caillou wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Mommy and Rosie were much too funny. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Good thing I'm here then. I've got a few sure to work hiccup cures up my sleeve. Really? Sure. I'm the world's number one all time hiccup cure champion. Come on, I'll show you. Now, some people cure hiccups by drinking water really fast from a hose. But it's not as easy as it looks. It can get a little messy. I don't care. I want to try. Caillou found out that drinking from a hose was very messy. And so did Daddy. <laughs> hey! Whoops. Sorry, Daddy. That's okay, Caillou. On a hot day like this, some cool water is good for me. And the grass. But it didn't work. I still have the hiccups. Don't worry, Caillou. I've got another cure up my sleeve. The upside down solution always works. Rosie turn, Rosie turn. Only if you have hiccups, Rosie. This is so my hiccups will go away. <gasps> Don't worry, there's one more cure we can try. I've saved the best for last. This one's almost sure to get rid of your hiccups. What is it? Huh? I'll show you. You hop on your left foot and rub your head with your right hand. 
why you thought Daddy looked silly. And so did Mommy and Rosie. <laughs> oh, my. Doesn't Daddy look... Funny. He does. <laughs> but Caillou really wanted to get rid of his hiccups. So he started hopping, too. That's the spirit, Caillou. Hop those hiccups away. That's right, Rosie. You can hop, too. Whoa. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I guess I need to practice my hopping more often. I'm still hiccuping. What if I have them forever? <laughs> and ever and ever! <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but maybe I'll just have to stop making spaghetti for dinner, since spaghetti seems to give you the hiccups. <gasps> but, Mommy, spaghetti's my favorite, and Rosie's favorite, and Daddy's favorite. It wasn't the spaghetti that gave me the hiccups. I know it wasn't. And besides, I think they might be gone. Listen. Caillou was right. His hiccups had gone away. Perhaps I scared them away by saying I wouldn't make spaghetti anymore. Nah, I think they went away on their own. Just like you said they would. But are you really going to stop making spaghetti? Of course not, Caillou. I was just teasing. Phew! That's a relief. I love spaghetti. Rosie, too! Paschetti! Not right now, Rosie. We just had spaghetti. But soon, Rosie, we promise. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now I've got hiccups. <laughs> Caillou had realized hiccups go away on their own, with a little patience. Look, Mommy! Look, Rosie! Look what Daddy bought for me! What is it, Caillou? Caillou was very excited to show Mommy what was in his shopping bag. Oh! Roller skates. That looks like fun, Caillou. And good exercise, too. Yeah, that's why Daddy bought them for me. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> Roller skating isn't for kitties, Gilbert. Rosie skate? <gasps> no, Rosie. You have to wait till you're bigger like me to learn how to roller skate. <laughs> Daddy, can we go roller skating now? Please, please, please! <laughs> okay, Caillou. Let's grab your helmet and safety pads and we'll go to the park. The park? But I thought we were going roller skating. We are. There's a special path at the park just for roller skaters and cyclists. There is? Yay! Here we are. What do you think, Caillou? I like it. Can I skate now? As soon as we get your stuff on. There we go. Skates, check. Knee pads, check. Wrist guards, elbow pads, and helmet, check, check, and check. Why do I need to wear all of this stuff? For safety, Caillou, in case you fall. Fall? <laughs> no way. Roller skating is easy. Watch me, Daddy. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oops! Ouchie. Are you okay, Caillou? I'm okay. I just wish these skates weren't so wobbly. Whoa! I thought roller skating would be easy. Some activities are harder than others, Caillou. This is hard, all right. <laughs> It'll get easier, I promise. As Caillou sat on the ground, he watched some of the bigger kids on their skates. He was amazed. <laughs> Whoa! 
I wish I could skate like them. You will be able to skate like them one day, Caillou. You just need a little practice. He wasn't convinced. He began to think he'd never learn how to roller skate. Caillou! Whoa! Whoa. Daniel! What are you doing here? Hey, Caillou. I'm trying out my new inline skates. They're very snazzy, Daniel. Maybe you'd like to have a pair like that one day, Caillou. Hmm. Caillou wasn't so sure. He could hardly skate in the ones he had. <laughs> How did you get to be so good, Daniel? Practice, I guess. I wasn't always good at skating. Really? Yeah. When I was about your age, I thought I would never learn how to roller skate. Whoa! Ugh. Oh man. Yeah, I used to fall all the time. But I practiced and I practiced. I guess I got pretty good at it. Suddenly, Caillou felt much better. If Daniel could become a good skater, then maybe he could too. He shoots and scores a goal! I could show you some tricks to help you learn. What do you say? Yes, please! If you stretch your arms out like this, it'll help you keep your balance. Hey, I'm not as wobbly. Now push off with one foot, like this, and then the other foot. Push and glide. Push and glide. That's it, Caillou. You're getting it. I'm still really wobbly. Hmm. I think I see the problem, Caillou. You're looking down at your feet while you're skating. My feet? That's right. If you look up at something else instead of your feet, you'll have better balance. But I don't know how to stop looking at my feet. I know. You can watch me while we play roller tag. Roller tag? Caillou loved tag, but he was worried he wouldn't be able to skate fast enough to catch Daniel. Don't worry. I won't skate fast. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> That's it. Come and get me. <laughs> huh? Whoa! Look out! Phew! <laughs> Come and get me! You can do it. Come on! <laughs> gotcha! Did you see that, Daddy? I'm skating! Way to go, Caillou! I knew you could do it! Yeah, you're doing awesome! Yeah, awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna keep practicing so I get even better! <laughs> yeah, then when I outgrow my skates, you can have them. Really? Wow! Thanks, Daniel! And you know what else? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou learned that practicing could be lots of fun, especially when it's done with a friend. Caillou's Cricket. Here's another load. Caillou liked playing trucks. The only thing he liked better was playing trucks with a friend. Caillou, there's fresh lemonade inside the truck stop. Yay! <laughs> Mommy, can you play trucks with me? Maybe later. I have to do some cleaning and Rosie wants to help.
It might take a while. Sweep. Hmm. Sweep. Okay. Sweep. 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 Hmm. Cricket, do you like trucks? Caillou was happy to meet a cricket who seemed to like trucks, too. Do you want to play with me? Okay, I have more trucks in my room. I'll show you. Here's my dump truck. And here's a fire truck. Want to ride in the bucket? put you somewhere safe. I know. There. That's better. Oh, I guess you can't play chucks in there. Hey, are you hungry? I'll get you a snack. Caillou wasn't sure what crickets like to eat, so... He took a little of everything. Do you like raisins or cereal? Try an animal cracker. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's not a real lion. Caillou was proud of himself. He thought he was treating his new friend very well. You know, if you like it here, you can stay and live in my room. Sweep. Okay, if you want to. Sweep. 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 No, don't sweep that. Oh. Here, do you want a cracker? Cracker. Thank you. Hey, Rosie, why don't you go sweep the kitchen? <gasps> Gilbert, no! Stop! You'll scare him! Whoa! Say something? about to ask the same thing. I lost my cricket. It came inside of my truck and we were playing, but Gilbert scared him and now he's lost in the house. Mommy and Daddy could see that Caillou was very worried. It's okay, Caillou. We'll try to find him. But he's so small and hard to see. That's true. Sometimes crickets are hard to see. That's why the best way to find one is with your ears. What sound does a cricket make? Hmm. Right. We have to listen for that sound and follow it until we find the cricket. Now, shh. Shh. That way! <gasps> He's somewhere in here. Good. Now, let's listen and look. Just cereal. Cricket! There he is! Easy. Go! 
gotcha! Yay, Daddy! Yay! It's a good thing he makes that sound. Do you know how he does it? He takes those two little wings on his back and rubs them together. Oh! I like the sound of crickets. Only not in the house. But I like playing with him. It's fun. I wonder if the cricket thinks being inside is fun. Caillou wasn't sure about that. Um, crickets like grass and trees, not cats and vacuum cleaners. He looks sad. Maybe I should take him back outside. I think that's a very good idea. Goodbye, cricket. Bye-bye. <sighs> I guess I'm back to playing trucks by myself. Would it be okay if Rosie and I played too? Yeah, I'll get more trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's Cricket was happy to be back where he belonged. Caillou was having fun helping Mommy in the garden. Are the raspberries ready now, Mommy? Raspberries? Raspberries. No, they're not ready yet. They need a little more time. Aw, oh, I don't like waiting. I know what might help pass the time. You've been such a good helper. Maybe you'd like to be my junior gardener. Okay. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Gilbert. You don't need watering. Oh, Caillou. Sorry, Mommy. Okay, kids. We put the seeds in the cups just like this. Then we'll give them some water and put them on the windowsill. Because bean seeds plus water plus sunlight make... Bean plants! That's right, class. My, what clever gardeners we have. Yes, Caillou? I'm a junior gardener. I'm helping my mommy grow a raspberry bush. That's wonderful. Uh-huh, and I'll have raspberries to share with the whole class. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Caillou. Of course, you and your family may want to eat the raspberries, too. We're going to have tons of raspberries, and I'll make sure everybody gets some. Mmm, I could eat a million raspberries. Promise to bring them? Yes. <laughs> Are the raspberries ready now? Not yet, Caillou. You're going to have to be a little more patient. Do you know what I learned today? Bean seeds plus water plus sunlight make bean plants. That's very good, Caillou. Berry! No, Rosie. The berries aren't ready yet. Mommy said so. That's right, Rosie. When they turn bright red, then they'll be ready to eat. But if you're hungry, we could have a little snack. Yes, please. Hungry. Aren't you going to drink your milk, Rosie? No. But milk will help you grow up big and tall. <sighs> Rosie, tall now. Oh, yes. Much taller. Caillou suddenly had an idea. If milk could make Rosie grow bigger, maybe it would do the same for the raspberry bush. Oh, Caillou, what are you doing? Giving the raspberry bush some milk so it'll grow big and tall. <laughs> I'm afraid that doesn't work with plants, sweetie. They only like water. Caillou wanted the raspberries to ripen faster, so he thought he'd give the bush more water. Now what are you doing, Caillou? I'm going to give the bush more water so the berries will ripen. I think the bush got enough water today. What it really needs is a little more time for the berries to ripen. Okay, Mommy. Uh, I can give them a little more time. Look, the beans are starting to grow. Hey, did you bring us some raspberries? No. They're not ready yet. You will bring us some, right? You promised. 
I'm sure Caillou will do his best to bring in some berries when they're ready. You can't brush a raspberry. Come on, grow! Brushing the raspberries was exactly what Caillou intended to do. Pretty please, grow with raspberries on top. <sighs> Maybe you need more water. You're taking very good care of the raspberry bush, Caillou. Thank you, but do you think the raspberries will ever be ready? I'm sure they'll ripen soon. They're getting lots of water and sunshine. Not to worry. There's no sun! Caillou was worried. He knew that plants needed lots of sunshine to grow. <laughs> What are you doing, Caillou? The sun is hiding. I'm giving the bush some more light so it'll grow. That's very thoughtful. But raspberries need sunlight, not light from a flashlight. Oh. Don't worry, the sun will come out again soon. When? I promised I'd take some raspberries to preschool, but they're not ready yet. Oh, I see. They'll ripen up soon, I promise. You can't rush a raspberry. That's what Miss Martin said. Russia Raspberry? <laughs> well, Miss Martin is very wise. Now, why don't we check them again tomorrow, okay? Okay, Mommy. <sighs> Caillou, Rosie, there's something you should see in the backyard. Caillou was worried. He thought something had happened to his raspberry bush. Caillou was right. Something had happened to the raspberry bush. <gasps> raspberries! Look! Raspberries! That's right! Raspberries! They're finally ripe. <laughs> so, was it worth the wait? Yes! Yes! Mm -hmm. I think we should all say thank you to Caillou for bringing in these tasty raspberries. Thanks, Thanks Caillou! raspberries more than anything in the whole world. Thanks, Caillou. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, Leo? When are we going to eat our beans? The plants are coming along nicely, Leo. But we won't be able to pick beans for quite a while. We have to be patient, right, Miss Martin? Plants need time to grow. That's right, Caillou. Hmm, maybe we should add that to our chart. Bean seeds plus water plus sunlight plus time make... Bean plants! Caillou learned that you can't rush a raspberry bush or any other plant, but they were worth waiting for. Mmm! something for you and Rosie. Really? What is it? It's something extra special. Caillou couldn't wait to find out what Daddy was working on. Daddy's building a skating rink. A skating rink? Yay! Yay! Skating rink! Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Don't you think you should change out of your jammies first? Jammies? <laughs> Oops. That should just about do it. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Rosie. We're ready to skate, Daddy. Where's the rink? This is the rink. But I'm afraid it's not ready for skating on. Not ready? Mm. Caillou was disappointed. He wanted to get skating right away. Well, if you two help me, the rink will get finished much faster. Yeah! Good. First, we need some snow plows to push snow into the frame. <laughs> oh, 
okay. That's plenty of snow. Come on, there's lots more to do. We have to pack down that snow, nice and tight. And to do that, we need to jump up and down like kangaroos. Who's a kangaroo? Rosie kangaroo. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Now we're giants. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Now the snow's good and flat. Yay! Now we skate. Caillou, I'm sorry. It's not ready yet. It takes a long time to build an ice rink. Caillou wondered if the rink would ever be finished. <laughs> Daddy, go skating rink. <laughs> Not quite, Rosie. I'm watering the snow. When it gets cold enough, it'll freeze and turn into ice. And then we can skate. But Caillou was growing impatient. He wanted to skate right away. It takes a long time for water to freeze, Caillou. I know, but I can't wait. Why don't you and Rosie build a snowman? That'll be a fun way to pass the time. Snowman! Okay. There you go, Mr. Snowman. Look, Daddy, our snowman wants to skate with us. <laughs> That's great, Caillou. It's always nice to invite friends. Caillou wondered if the rink was frozen yet, so he decided to test it out. The ice seemed like it was ready for skating or sliding. Caillou, no. Uh-oh. Caillou are wet. I'm sorry, Daddy. I thought it was frozen. You need to be a little more patient, Caillou. Good things are worth waiting for. Now I'll have to fix the rink. How long will that take, Daddy? Well, it should be ready by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? <sighs> That's forever. And Caillou swim in the snow. I wasn't swimming, Rosie. I was trying to skate. Don't worry, Caillou. You'll be skating soon enough. I know, but waiting isn't any fun. Huh. Hey! Caillou had forgotten his socks could slide on the kitchen floor. Look! It's just like I'm skating! Caillou skate! Caillou and Rosie skate! <laughs> we don't have to wait to pretend to skate. <laughs> well done! It's morning! Yay! Caillou was excited. The rink was finally ready. <laughs> Oops, I almost forgot. I can't ski with my pajamas on. <laughs> Caillou, slow down. The ice will still be there when you get outside, I promise. Sorry, Mommy. I'm just excited. <laughs> so, was the skating rink worth waiting for? Yes! Hey, there are my little skaters. Who wants hot chocolate? I do! I do. It might be a little hot, so make sure you blow on it and let it cool down. Oh, hot. I think I burnt my tongue a little. <laughs> you have to be patient, Daddy. Good things are worth waiting for. <laughs> yes, they are, Caillou. Indeed. Next year, Caillou would be a little more patient about skating on the ice.
We're almost there. Caillou and Leo were very excited. They were going to the ice rink <laughs> to play hockey together. Uh. Yay, I scored! <laughs> That's because you didn't have me for a goalie. Playing ringette. Ring it? What's ring it? It's ringette. And it's really fun. Do you want to play with us? Caillou had never heard of ringette before, but he didn't want to play that game. Can't we play hockey? <laughs> it's way more fun. Yeah. How do you know if you've never played ringette? I don't know. It just is. Uh huh. Sorry, but we're already in the middle of a game. Caillou and Leo tried to play hockey in the snow, but it wasn't the same as playing on the ice. <sighs> nice shot. Thanks. Come on, boys. It's time to start heading back home. How come you didn't want to play with Sarah and Clementine? Because they're playing ringette. We wanted to play hockey. Hockey's better. Yeah. Ringette sounds too easy. I like hockey, too. But maybe you could have given ringette a chance. Did you know Mommy used to play it? Mommy played ringette? Yes, and she was very good at it. She never told me that. Mommy, what do you know about ringette? Ringette? Oh, I think I know a little something. Oh, I haven't looked at these things in years. I used to be captain of my team. It was a lot of fun. Wow! So, how do you play? I'll show you. You know, I think this game is much better when it's played outside. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try a ring at stick, Caillou? No, thanks. Yours doesn't have a blade, like mine. This is true. Ringette sticks don't have blades, which makes it easier to do this. <gasps> hey! How about a little game of keep away? Huh? You know, you might find it easier if you try a ringette stick instead of using that old hockey stick. Caillou had decided Mommy was right. He was curious to see what it was like to play with a ringette stick. So you just need to catch that ring with this stick? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that. Pass me the ring, Mommy. <gasps> I wasn't ready, but now I am. Caillou tried to catch huh? the ring, but it was much harder than he thought. Oopsie. Huh? Whoa! Much harder than Caillou thought. I did it! Woohoo! Good job, Caillou. You're learning. Uh-huh. Now it's
it's my turn to pass. Oops, sorry. No problem. Wow! How did you do that? I've had lots of practice. But it's not so easy, is it? Especially when you're playing on ice, trying to score on the goalie in net. A goalie? Hmm. Caillou suddenly realized that ringette sounded an awful lot like another sport he knew. <gasps> hockey? Ringette is a lot like hockey, Mommy. Yes, that's true. And just like hockey, it takes a lot of practice in order to get good at it. Practice, huh? The next day, Caillou and Leo arrived at the ice rink early with Daddy. Did you watch the hockey game last night, Leo? Yeah. Well, until I went to bed. But did you see that goal? It was great. Hi, guys. Looks like you got here first. So I guess it's your turn to have the rink. Is it okay if we play hockey with you? Nope. Sorry, you can't. <gasps> <gasps> but we can all play ringette together! <laughs> I'm sorry for not wanting to play ringette with you before. I didn't know what it was, but now I do. It's a lot like hockey. Really? It's like hockey? Like hockey, because it's just as much fun. Yeah! From that day on, Caillou was happy to try new games. <laughs> Rosie, finish! Caillou and Rosie were enjoying working on a puzzle together until. Hey, there's a piece missing! Good news, Caillou. I just spoke with Clementine's mommy. Clementine is coming over for the day. Yay, Clementine! <laughs> the puzzle piece. I was sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> that must be Clementine. You? Hi, Clementine. What do you want to play? Cars or trains or... Actually, Caillou, I'm taking both you and Clementine rock climbing. Rock climbing? Caillou couldn't imagine Mommy taking him rock climbing. Surely he'd heard her wrong. The community center is having an open house today. I thought you might like to give their rock climbing wall a try. Caillou liked going to the community center, but he still wasn't so sure about rock climbing. I love rock climbing. I've been before. It's fun. Great. Why don't you kids get ready so we can get going? Hi, I'm Samantha. I'll be your instructor for the day. Are we ready to have some fun? Yes! Okay, now first, we need to get you fitted for some handy-dandy equipment. Come on over here. It's always important to wear the right shoes and helmets on the climbing wall. Hmm, these look to be about your size. Try them on. How do they feel? Great! <laughs> I feel like a real rock climber. Now it's your turn, Caillou. <gasps> Don't be shy. Try them on. It's okay, Caillou. There. Now you look like a real rock climber, too. But, um, they're too small. 
Are you sure, Caillou? They seem to fit fine. Let's try on your helmet. There, look. It's a perfect fit. Really? It feels, um, kind of big. He knew the shoes and helmet fit fine. He was just feeling a little nervous. But he didn't know how to tell anyone. I'm sure they're okay, Caillou. Now, my little climbers, we need to rub this chalk on our hands before we start climbing. I'm not allowed to draw on my hands. It's okay, Caillou. The chalk is so your hands won't be slippery. That's right. Here, we want you to have messy hands. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you the rock climbing wall. Yay! <sighs> so, what do you think? It looks like fun, right? Yes! Caillou was worried. The climbing wall wasn't as big as he imagined it, but it was still very tall. Can we climb now? <laughs> You're an eager beaver, aren't you? First, I need to show you how the harnesses and ropes work. This is how you'll be harnessed to the safety ropes. When you finish climbing the wall, you'll get a fun ride down to the bottom. Down? Don't worry. I'll be here the whole time in case you need any help. Okay, climbers. It's time to chalk and climb. Who wants to go first? Me, 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 me! Caillou wasn't ready to try rock climbing, but he hoped no one would notice. Come on, Caillou. This isn't hide and seek. It's rock climbing. <laughs> Let's get to the top and ring the bell. The top? You know, Caillou, rock climbing is actually much easier than it looks. Caillou finally decided he should tell Samantha and Mommy how he really felt. But it looks hard and scary. I'm glad you told me, Caillou, but I would never take you anywhere that wasn't safe. And it really is lots of fun. Hmm. You've climbed trees before, right, Caillou? At the park. What else have you climbed? Ladders with Daddy. Well, rock climbing is a lot like climbing a tree or a ladder. You climb one step at a time using the rocks for grips. This made Caillou feel much better. He was good at climbing trees and ladders. Maybe he could climb the rock wall. Do you think you could give it a try? I'll be here every step of the way. Okay. Remember, it's just like climbing a ladder, one step at a time. Caillou climbed up one step, and then another step, and another step. He was beginning to get good at it. I'm going to ring the bell first. <laughs> no way, I am. I did it! I really did it! Yay! Way to go! I knew you could. go, guys! That was awesome! Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing really is lots of fun. Can, Can we, we go, go again? again? And that is how Caillou overcame his fear of rock climbing. Caillou was always learning interesting things at preschool. Today, he was learning about water. Water falls from the sky as rain. But where does it go after that? It waters plants and flowers and trees. Right. The rain sinks into the ground. It waters plants, just like how you said, and eventually runs back into lakes and rivers. Then it evaporates and rises up where it collects in clouds and gets ready to... Fall down like rain again. Right. Wow. wow. What do we use water for? Drinking. Taking baths. Brushing our teeth. And washing dishes. Yes. We use a lot of water every day, but it's important that we try to use less water. 
so that there will be enough for all those who need it. People and animals and even plants. Caillou really wanted to try to use less water at home, but he wasn't sure how to do that. Miss Martin, how can I use less water? We're going to talk about that on Monday. Why don't you think about it over the weekend and see what ideas you can come up with? Okay, I will. Bye. Bye, Caillou. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Rosie, good job. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm just washing the lettuce. No, Daddy, don't. No, Daddy. Miss Martin says we should use less water. Well, she is right about that. No, Mommy. Don't turn on the water. What? We're saving water. No, Mommy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Gilbert. No water. Go ahead, Gilbert. You can have a drink. Gilbert is thirsty, Rosie. Sorry, Gilbert. I've got to wash the lettuce so we can eat it. I think you're going to have to think of another way to save water. Okay. Thinking of ways to save water was harder than Caillou thought it would be. I'm going to save water by not taking any more baths. I know you're trying to do a good thing, Caillou, but you still have to take your bath. Maybe I could stop brushing my teeth. <laughs> no, but we could save water by not filling the bathtub as much and by turning off the tap while we brush our teeth. Mommy, the tap is dripping. So it is. Thank you for telling me. You know, we can also save water by fixing that leaking tap. Not very much water. It's just dripping a teeny tiny bit. It's not such a tiny bit when you add up all those drops. I've got an idea. Why don't we collect the drips overnight and see how much water a dripping tap wastes? It'll be an experiment. Yeah, okay. The next morning, Caillou was very excited to see how much water was in the bucket. Whoa! And that's not all. I emptied it two times during the night into this bigger bucket. The tap dripped all that water? Wow, that's a lot. All that water would have just dripped down the drain and been lost. So by fixing this little leak, we can save that much water. Which we can use for washing the floor or the windows. Or filling Gilbert's water dish. Maybe our other taps are leaking, too. I'm going to check and see. Hmm. Caillou, come inside. I think the sky is leaking. I thought Daddy was right. The clouds were dripping water just like the leaky bathroom tap. Then Caillou had a wonderful idea. What are you up to, Caillou? I'm saving water. Lots of water. Oh, Gilbert. Caillou! What a clever idea that was. Wow! Look, Rosie. Ooh! I collected lots and lots of water. So, can I use this water to water my plants? Mm-hmm. And can I have all my pots and pans back? <laughs> yeah. You know, Caillou, instead of using pots and pans, we could get a really big barrel to collect rain in. 
Yay! <laughs> So Daddy and I went and bought a rain barrel just like this. We put it in the backyard, and the next time it rains, the barrel will fill right up with rainwater. That's wonderful, Caillou. What a very smart idea. Daddy says we can use the rainwater to water our garden and fill our wading pool and the bird bath, too. Wait a minute. Miss Martin, the tap is leaking. We need to fix it because it's wasting water. Why, Caillou, you're right. We'll have to get that fixed right away. Thank you. Caillou was very proud of his ideas for saving water. Every little drop adds up. Caillou really liked preschool. He liked playtime snack time, and story time. But his favorite time of all was... All right, everyone, let's tidy up. It's time for... Show and Tell! I brought an old-fashioned car. I've got a book about dinosaurs. You brought a dinosaur book last time. <laughs> yeah, but it was a different one. Clementine, did you forget to bring something for show and tell? Nope. I've got something to show, but it's a surprise. Caillou was very curious to see what Clementine's show and tell would be. Clementine, what would you like to show the class? I learned how to do something. Wonderful, Clementine. You learned to whistle. <laughs> Caillou really wanted to be able to whistle, too. embarrassed that he couldn't do something that his friends could do. Hi, Murphy. Wow, you whistled and he came. How was your day, honey? Honey? I can't whistle! Whistling is very hard, Caillou. It took me ages to figure it out. Try puckering up more. Hmm, let me guess. You're pretending to be the wind. No. Blow birthday candles? You're a chipmunk with your cheeks full of nuts. <laughs> no. Caillou's trying to whistle. But now it's time to take a break and eat. OK, Mommy. Just keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Clementine whistled, and a doggy ran right up to her. I'm going to teach Gilbert to come when I whistle. Hmm. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it may take a bit of practice. I'm going to practice and practice and practice. <gasps> Rosie! Caillou practiced and practiced. 
and practiced, but he still couldn't whistle. Oops. Time for bed, Caillou. I'm so proud of how hard you've been working at your whistling. But I still can't do it. Whistling is a very tricky thing. It can take a long, long time to learn how to do it. But Leo learned right away. Everyone learns at their own speed, Caillou. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually. Good night. He knew Daddy was right, but eventually sounded like such a long, long way off. <sighs> Good morning, Caillou. Caillou! Rosie, whistle! You can? <gasps> <laughs> nice job, Rosie. Clementine just called Caillou. She's coming over to play after breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want to play with Clementine. Why not? She can whistle, and I can't. Whether you can whistle or not, Clementine is your friend. You don't want to miss out on a fun time, do you? When Daddy put it like that, Caillou saw how silly he was behaving. <laughs> <laughs> Clementine's here! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to wiggle my ears. I can do it. See? Cool! It's not as cool as whistling. I tried and tried and tried, and I still can't do it. Oh, it takes a while. I worked at it for a whole week. You did? Hmm. Could you teach me how to whistle? Sure, but only if you teach me that wiggly ear trick. It's a deal. Caillou, let's get started. Caillou had realized it's easier to learn something new with a little help from a friend. Whoa! <laughs> Yuck! I know, but if you think the jelly monster's funny, I've got something you'll really like. It's my favorite. Caillou was having fun looking at Daniel's comic collection. Until... Check it out. The mutant spider from cosmic space. It's about a real spider who turns into a mutant spider from cosmic space. After getting zapped by a bolt of space lightning. <gasps> Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to hear about a mutant spider from cosmic space. Daniel, do you have any other comic? Then, a space meteor lands on him. Uh-huh. But I don't think and I... And then he gets zapped by more space lightning. He's so lucky. Here, you can borrow it for a while. Uh, that's okay, but... Caillou! Daniel! I'm home! Later, buddy. I gotta go. Did you and Daniel have fun? Uh-huh. <gasps> Caillou tried to tell himself it was just a tiny spider, but he couldn't forget about Daniel's comic. was that all about? I don't know. I'll go check on him. Feel better now, sweetheart? Uh-huh. Well, now that the storm's over, why don't you play with some of your toys? Okay, Mommy. He 
thought it was a mutant spider from cosmic space in his toy chest. Until he realized... Ugh! Augie, it's just you! There might be a spider lurking near the sofa. Ah, spider! Gilbert, quit scaring me! Caillou! Lucky me! <laughs> Grab your rain boots, Caillou, and come outside! <laughs> Caillou wanted to play. But he was worried he might find a spider in his boot. Or worse, a mutant spider from cosmic space. Uh, sorry, Mommy. I have to, um, do some coloring. I got marker on my hands, Daddy. Well, it's a good thing we bought the washable kind. Come on in and give your hands a scrub. I'll see you when I get back from my run. <gasps> What's the matter, Caillou? Aren't you going to wash your hands? I don't want to. Why not? There's a... a spider in there. It's just a tiny household spider. It isn't anything to be afraid of. How do you know it isn't a mutant spider from cosmic space? A mutant spider? From cosmic space? Yeah, like in Daniel's comic book. You do know that comics are just made up stories, right? They aren't real. <gasps> Daddy, no! Come on, little spider. I'll take you outside with me. You come too, Caillou. After you've washed your hands, there's something I want to show you. There's usually spiders around Mommy's plants, and these are perfectly harmless, not to mention interesting. Look, this is what a garden spider looks like. Let's see if we can find one. Aha, here's one. Oh, and look, a Daddy Longlegs spider. Daddy Longlegs? Where? Right over here. His legs aren't that long, not like the spider in the comic book. No, most real spiders are very tiny. You're much bigger than they are. So what else do you know about spiders? Well, they help protect the plants, they have eight legs, and they make fantastic webs. Wow! A spider made that? That's neat, in a creepy spider kind of way. So what do you think? Not so scary after all, right? No, I guess not. They're nothing like the spider in Daniel's comic book. You mean the mutant spider from Cosmic Space? <laughs> I guess you can't believe everything you read or everything you see. But if you still have that comic, I wouldn't mind taking a peek. Really? Sure. I love comic books. As long as you know they're not real, they can be lots of fun. <laughs> and then our mutant spider got all eight legs stuck in a giant gob of space goo. <laughs> Ew! Hey, keep reading! Caillou was no longer afraid of spiders, even ones from cosmic space. <laughs> <laughs>